Yeah. <laughs> I dropped something, I forget what it was last night, on the kitchen floor, and I said, mm, hmm. Can I? Can I? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. What the heck? <laughs> that's, good. that's good enough, right? <laughs> that doesn't work that way, no. I guess, huh? Especially if you have a dog who might beat you to it. <laughs> All right. Usually one of my two dogs does. Yeah. Okay, so Natalie, temperature readings today are not as warm as it was yesterday, but still, it has been a bit on the toasty side. High temperatures are going to end up being in the mid to the upper 80s today but we had a little bit of moisture here and there and if you got games or plans to go to the big game tomorrow night with the Broncos up against the Aggies all I could tell you is the weather is going to definitely feel more football ish and the reason is temperature readings are probably going to be about 61 degrees at kickoff time winds are going to be fairly light we'll have dry conditions halftime 57 degrees and by the end of the game it's going to be nice and cool with temperature readings in the mid 50s now there is a cold front that's going to be initiating the change in our weather pattern but as you look at the Doppler radar the front is just to the west of us. Do you see any shower activity anywhere between Washington, Oregon and Northern California? And the answer is no. It is a dry front, always expected to be a dry front. But as it does move in, these temperatures are going to actually be going below normals. So, so far the high today, 86 degrees. The average for this time of the year is 73 degrees. And there's the record for this date, 96 degrees. Man, it can get hot. Yesterday we hit 90 degrees. The day before that it was 94 degrees. So the temperature Temperatures are indeed trending in the right direction to at least get us into more of an autumn type of a pattern. So on the satellite imagery, what we're seeing is the driving force for the cooler weather that is on the way. You see that counterclockwise rotation that's taking place right off the coastline? That is a trough of low pressure. This is harboring that cool air that's going to be moving in. The core of the storm is going to be tracking to the south of us. We may see a couple of isolated showers in the morning. Otherwise, look for partly cloudy skies tomorrow with temperature readings 15 degrees cooler than we're going to end up seeing today. And you can see it right here on the future cast. Here comes the front. Again, maybe a few clouds in the morning, a couple of isolated mountain showers. I just don't expect much for us here in the Treasure Valley. And then by the afternoon into the evening hours before the game, weather is beautiful and looking ahead towards Sunday. The weather is very nice, but there you can see the next feature off the coastline. And that's the bigger storm that primarily is going to be heading south. Seven day forecast and for the Treasure Valley, 69 degrees for the high tomorrow. We'll go with sunny skies on Sunday and a high of 70 degrees. On Monday, a slight chance of a shower, but look at the temperatures dropping down into the upper 60s, low 60s, and upper 50s between Monday and Tuesday. And then we'll start to dry things out and really bring back a lot more sunshine and warmer temperatures next week. The mountains will be seeing a slight chance of a shower tomorrow. Sunny skies on Sunday, some showers possible on Monday, and then things will start to dry out by the middle of the week again. This front is not expected to generate much in the way of showers for us, but we may see a couple of sprinkles eh, here or there in the morning, but it won't be that big of a deal. But it's going to be cool. I'm going to go stock up on chocolate so I can make some hot chocolate that over the weekend. Like an idea. Yeah, it's that mm -hmm. kind of day.